Oh, this blue star warrior one here. All the glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. We don't know the day or hour, but he can come any moment. We got to keep waiting and be patient. All right, today I feel led to read Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8 from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Let's begin. There is therefore no now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemn sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be cardinally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, because the cardinal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed it can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the Spirit is life because of that righteousness. But if the Spirit of, man, of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debitors not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so, be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creatures was made a subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God for we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now and not only they but ourselves also which have the first fruits of the spirit even we ourselves grown within ourselves waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body for we are saved by hope but hope that is seen is not hope for what a man seeth why doth ye ho yet hope for but if we hope for that we see not then do we with patience wait for it Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for, as we ought, 
but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth that what is in the mind of, of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good, to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did, know, he did for now, he also predestined to be confirmed in the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called them he also justified. And whom he justified them, he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spareth not his son, his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall we not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay any anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather than that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also maketh intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or prevail, or sword? As it is written, For thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers nor things present nor things to come, nor height nor depth nor any other Creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. I just want to add that nothing in this world can separate us from Lord Jesus Christ. Not, not our husbands, not our, not our wives, not our children, not our parents, not our friends or relatives, and not materialistic things or anything like that. Jesus Christ it should be always number one in your heart over everything. God, please be with all my subscribers, viewers, and their family members and loved ones. Please fill them up with the Holy Spirit. Wash them all in Lord Jesus Christ's blood. Please lead them all to Lord Jesus Christ. Please bless them with the heart healing and deliverance they need. Please bless them with food and wash all their food in Lord Jesus Christ's blood. Please bless them with good finances so they have a roof over their head. Please wash all their internet connections and devices in Lord Jesus Christ's blood. And please bless them with good health. Please do all these things if it is in your will, God, and if they have not taken the mark. And please use your humble servant in any way you see fit. In Lord Jesus Christ, in my name, amen, amen. Thank you for listening. Peace be with you.